This snow track season is almost over and I really needed to take some time to just wind down and relax. I personally do that by riding, so I figured I'd grab a few of my closest friends and just go on a multi-day ride. Snowmobiling is my favorite thing to do in the world, and these guys are my best friends. So, uh, snowmobiling with my best friends, I just don't see how it could get a whole lot better than that. I actually live off one of the main Rap Tour routes and I've ridden a bunch of sections of the Rap Tour itself, but I've never ridden the whole thing, as crazy as that sounds. So that's where we're headed. It takes about three to five days and uh, we're off on an adventure. I saw that there was going to be a great opportunity for me to get out and do some long distance trail riding, which I don't get too many opportunities to do. It looked like it was going to be a lot of fun and, uh, and also a chance to experience uh, more of Ontario. There's a lot of great trails around here and I usually don't uh, get too far away from home, so this was a good opportunity, so I jumped on it right away. Algonquin Park is Ontario's largest and best known national park. Since Algonquin is directly in the center of the busiest snowmobile area in Ontario, there are lots of trails all the way around it. And years ago, these trails were connected together and assembled into the Round Algonquin Park Self-Guided Tour or the Rap Tour. Since then, it's not only become an extremely popular multi-day trip for people from Ontario and Quebec, but it's also become a really popular destination for lots of Americans as well. And it's convenient for them because the most southerly point of the trip is really only about five hours from the Buffalo US border crossing. The southern part of this trip is also only about two hours from Metro Toronto, making it really accessible for people from the GTA. Um, and it passes through the cities of Pembroke, uh, North Bay and Bracebridge. So it's extremely accessible to the bulk of the population here in Ontario and in the northern U.S. states. The northern part of the trip was very remote and it was amazing. Just seeing how close you get to the Quebec border, you're out there. That's the, the thing I love about snowmobiling in, in northern Ontario is, is just how remote you actually feel. And, uh, and just seeing nature like it's supposed to be seen. Even though you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, it's extremely well serviced the entire way through. So, you know, you're never very far from all the services that you could possibly need while you're riding. The one comforting thing was there was a lot of trail signs. The whole route, the whole way is really well signed and also just the maps too. There was a lot of big, great big signs with the huge maps and so if you ever sort of thought you weren't going the right way, you just had to go a little bit further and there'd be a huge sign with the map on it and you'd be like, okay, that's where we are and, and you know, there was no worries. So as we were traveling the most northerly part of the route from Pembroke across to North Bay, we made the decision that we would stop at a spot on the map called Du Riviere. We saw a sign for this cafe. There's just a little detour off the trail and we pull up and there's a little lodge there. It was extremely small, very rustic, but a really beautiful cabin. It was totally overlooking the Ottawa River. So you had a wicked view of the Ottawa River and it, it, was, it was pretty spectacular. Having the owner actually come out and greet you, you felt right at home right away. That kind of hospitality, you can really only get from people who love what they do and love being in the places that they are. It was a, the perfect timing for a, a break and a warm up and you know, the hot chocolate was amazing. To have that in the middle of a ride, is, it just makes the day better. She had the wood stove going on inside, so you know it was a great place to go in and, and warm up and, and just, just rest for a bit. 
it was neat because there's not too many places like that. Now that we're sort of on the last leg of the trip and we're on our way home, it's sort of like a bittersweet feeling. You know, I'm excited to get back home and be back uh, with my family. But at the same time, just the amount of fun that I had, you know, hanging out with, with my friends. You know, we don't get too many opportunities as we get older to hang out like this. And, you know, it's, it's kind of sad that it's going to be over. My favorite part of this trip was really just spending time with my friends and getting out into northern Ontario, into places that I've never seen before. And experiencing that with them was absolutely amazing. Just having the opportunity to do this kind of trip, I think made me a better rider and more confident. This just totally opened up my eyes as far as what Ontario has to offer to snowmobilers. You know, you get to ride really nice trails, stay in nice accommodations, and you know, you, you can't get much better than this. This is, this is what snowmobiling in Ontario is all about. In the future, you know, like this is something that we're going to talk about for a long time. It's one of those experiences that will stay with you the rest of your life. I can't wait to, to come back up here and, and ride these trails again. You know, I, I would definitely recommend this to anybody. <laughs>